Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to memoir.tv. <laughs> Feels good to be back. Um, I have just done a video for uh, my new sort of tinted moisturizer. It's called Fresh Tint by Chanel. It's actually called uh, mm, mm, Le Beige de Tint. Je ne parle pas français. <laughs> I'm so crap at that. Um, it's this one. Right, so that is what I have on right now. That is step one of my everyday makeup. When I say every day, this is, you know, I don't put anything on before I work out. And then when I work out, after I work out, I've had my shower and I'm going, if I'm just going to do the school run, I'll probably just put some mascara on. But if I've actually got places to be, people to be, or if I'm filming, this is what I do. I'm sure you have seen me promote these two amazing products by Charlotte Tilbury. Live, breathe, swear by these. Okay, one's the Beauty Light Wand and then the Contour Wand. And I don't know who introduced them to me all that time ago, but I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped using them. You don't have to do these steps. You could eliminate these and just go a bit of blush, mascara, lip gloss, boom. Uh, which is what I used to do, but this is so quick for me now. So literally, I'm going here just above the cheekbone, not below it, but sort of above the cheekbone with this little baby all over the eye, lots of it. Don't be afraid of it because you're going to use it as a base. So this is, oh, I just, and what I love about these is because they are a cream, it's not a powder. At my age, 51, to put powder anywhere on this face, it's going to absorb into the creases, those expression lines, as we like to call them. Okay, these are the brushes that I bought from Charlotte Tilbury, and I highly recommend using them. I've got two separate, one for the brown, and then I just, whatever's left on the brush, I just sort of go around there, but there, 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 and then the other one is for the, the light. Just sort of blending that through. I'm going to use my other mirror too, just so I can make sure that I, that you can see it properly. Now, okay, so that tells me, mirror, mirror on the wall, it tells me you need a bit more of this. So you just twist it, squeeze, close it. Watch this now as it comes out, hold on. Yeah, that's what I want. I want it to be, well, quite heavy. You see that? Because I will need to blend that. I will blend it lightly right now, just like so. Blend, 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 blend. <laughs> okay, but it's still quite heavy, um, but you'll understand why in a minute. And then, Oh my God, the Touche Claire, Touche Claire, Touche, 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 where are you? Here it is, YSL. You know, I've, I've used this, continue to use this. This is a number 1.5, I have a one. I've used a 1.5, I've used a two. Um, just a little bit, oh, that's quite, because I just pumped it, it's quite heavy. Uh, if you want, you don't have to do this, but this gives you a really clean line under the cheekbone. This is where this is meant to be used, is there. It's a highlighter, it's not a concealer. And you can go into that sort of area there if you get a little bit of darkness. The other tip that I got, which I saw off a YouTuber, is this. Look, really lightly around the lips. Okay, this is becoming not probably everyday makeup. I would do more of this if I was going out of the evening. But you get the drift. Use it when use it when you want to use it. Just with your fingers, not with a sponge. Again, I think we get so much wastage of a product when our fingers can do, clean fingers, can do the trick. Okay, now with that, uh, I'm just going to use this one because of the light one. See how that's more defined, more of a defined line through there? Fantastic. And then I'm actually going to do, keep looking that side instead of that side. I'm going to do my mascara 
I'm going to do my mascara before I put any of the um, contouring on the eyes. Sometimes I won't do the contouring on the eyes, but if I, especially if I'm feeling really heavy here or crepey through here, I will definitely do the contour and you'll see why. But before I do that, I have had an eyelash lish left. Can you see? So right now with the mascara, I'm gonna start going on the top and go down first because they are really turned up. They're really curled. Um, and some people say you don't need to wear mascara if you have an eyelash lift. Eyelash lift looks great. It does for everyday life and just if I had a little bit of that um, fresh tint on uh, and running out the door. But I think, like look, look, Hair frames, I've said this for years, hair frames the face, eyebrows frame the eyes, eyelashes finish the eyeballs. <laughs> I just made that up. Okay, so just let me just get the mascara on. Why I'm not adding the contour on just yet is because I need to be able to clean this up. So again, try to go down. Oh, I'm gonna hot flush. I get in a hot flush i'm on bhrt but you know what it's a it's a never-ending journey i am menopausal i have been for three years now uh, i've been taking bioidenticals i will do talk more about this because i always i keep talking about talking about it um but there's always something going on and if it's not my hormones, if it's not my arthritis, it's my hormones. If not, it's my hormones. If it's not my hormones, it's my gut. If it's not my gut. It's my <laughs> mental health. It's my kids. It's my husband. You know, life is full. And I know I'm not alone there. You know, we all, uh, we're all running from post to pillar. And just, we're all doing our best. And that's all we can do is do our best. You know, everybody's journey, everybody's got a story, but everybody's journey is different. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> and we know everybody's journey is different. Everybody's story is different. You know, that's what makes us all so unique. Oh, I'm just keep putting more and more on there, but I don't want it to be any thicker. So... Let me just, you know, these little ones are wonderful just to get their ends. I don't want the ends too clumpy. And this mascara, oh my God. I mean, I have honestly been, I pulled it out the other day and a girlfriend of mine was like, oh my God, I use Australian. Oh my God. <laughs> it wasn't like that. She's like, oh my God. I used that 20 years ago. I go, oh my God, I've been using it for 20 years. <laughs> I've been using it for 30 years. I won't change. Try them all. It's a Maybelline. Love it, love it, love it. Right, now, while that dries, because you never ever try to get mascara off when it's wet, because it's just going to be a black smeared line. Oh, coffee break. Uh, you are going to do your cheeks. And Chanel, I just love that this pink, it is the rose initial. There's another, there's a slightly darker one too. You can tell, I mean, I just, they, they last. I've had this, I wanna say years, to be honest. So with this part, just smile, and it's always just on the apples of your cheeks. This is a tip when I was modeling, we'd, this is all they would do, is just that. And it was always like a really fresh look, like you've just been on a wonderful holiday and you're, 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 you're happy and glowing. And I do run a little bit over that bronzer, but it's just on the cheeks. Right now you're probably going, God, that's a lot. Wait until the lips go on because it balances everything out. So with my best friends, the cotton buds, I used to do these videos all downstairs, like at my dining table. <laughs> That's when I had a bit of a crew. Well, yeah, I had my YouTubers, Shu and Leah and Christy. I miss you girls so much. I'm just a one-man band now. 
that's okay. Uh, because why I'm here too though, the light is just amazing. As you can see from behind me, it's just a big window. That is the best light that you can work with, but also do your makeup with. I have a dressing table in my bedroom and I don't use it because I've got one window and then it's warm. So it's sort of like half my face is lit. I'm doing that. So I come here and pull my stool in, put all my stuff on my laundry basket, and here we are. So, mm -mm, just using a little bit of uh, your own saliva, just I'm cleaning up that any uh, mascara that I got on my eyelid. Number two. Uh huh, like this. Boom, boom, boom. So it's actually, there's nothing on the lid now. Nothing on the lid. So what I want to do is, I mean, this seems like it's so long, but it's so quick when I do this. All I wanna do is whatever's down, all up here, I'm gonna blend it back over the lid. So we get that nice, even look. And then with this little baby, this is what I love. Just these two colors, the blend, are, are just gorgeous. I'm gonna put it just in that crease. Can you see that, right? Just a blob. Don't get too concerned. As long as it's just near the crease, you can see that, right? On both eyes. And see it's quite high, don't drag it down, but if you do drag it down, I can show you a way to fix that anyway. Mm. So with, is this the right one? With the small end, so you've got that is for your more the dude, the blending of the cheeks. When you're coming into the smaller areas, watch what I do, always work from the outside in. Don't go in to out. So you see, outside in, outside in, blending it slightly up. And again, outside in, outside in. So I'm just giving it a bit of, then I can go out because I've blended it. So you see how it's given a little bit of depth there? And then you get your little tushika, tushikle, he he, mm -hmm, ho ho. And this, lift the eyes up, lift the face up, watch. Boom, one, just a straight line, straight line, there. There. Are you ready? <laughs> I've got to crack myself up. No, blend it. This is the brush I blend with. So watch what I'm doing. I just want to blend that in, but it makes it clean and lifted so it's not going to drag the eyes down. It's going to bring them up. Uh, as you can see, I didn't put mascara on the bottom lids, the bottom lashes. <laughs> Do we have lids at the bottom? Not really. Um, because this is just, it's again, as you get older, if I was going out tonight, I would absolutely put it on the bottom and then I'd just put a bit of, um, a bit of eyeliner in the corners too, just to accentuate it. But we're not going out, so uh, I'm just keeping it fresh. I could put a little lip liner on, but I'm not going to. I simply, Straight into it, lip gloss. I am addicted to all of Victoria's Secret lip glosses. This is the Caramel Kiss. It tastes like caramel. There's Sugar High, Watermelon Sugar High, <laughs> Coconut Craze, and then I've got another one downstairs, but I just, I love them how they're, look. This one's got a slight little gold tinge, tint to it which I think is quite pretty as well. Uh, and then that is it. I just sort of also with this, just make sure everything is blended. You don't want any lines, especially in and around the nose, up like that, up around the forehead. And uh, what was the one thing I was going to say that I usually, so we've got your cheeks on, cheeks, lips, Oh, if we're going out, again, if I was going out in the evening, <laughs> I'm going to do it for you now. I love this. I found this in, uh, what's it called? Flower. 
I literally found it in, I was in Bakersfield in America with my sister-in-law. I think we were getting Christmas presents, little, little Christmas gifts. And I was like, oh, I need a uh, eyebrow pencil. And I found this and it's been the best eyebrow pencil. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, $3.99. I found it here in London, England, they sell it. So I bought about three. It's uh, super cheap, but uh, the color for one is great. And the when I do, I do this again as if I'm going out, but as you can see with my eyebrows, right, I've got less depth there than I do here. And what I'm also noticing, and I noticed the other day, there's like about three gray, mm -mm, gray hairs in my eyebrows. Now the problem is you can't pull those hairs out because I have a big hole in my eyebrow. So this is probably becoming a little bit more frequent than it used to, but that's it, you know, that's just all part of aging. The beauty of, of getting more mature. Okay, can you see what I'm doing there? I think you can. What I love about this, like you just sort of, I put a bit of depth in there, color in those little grays. My eyebrows are due to be uh, threaded, by the way. Definitely due. Okay, so just see, compare that one to the other one, but the brush does it all. So then the brush just blends it. See the coloring of it? See how that just all starts to blend in? It's like a smudger, but it's better than a smudger. And I love that little line. Don't go too far with your line. It should end from the corner of your eye, there to there. Hmm, probably could extend it. But can you see the difference? Just gives me that depth in there. Colors in my few grays there. And it also defines the eye a little bit more. So, you know, I used to do these videos and I used to do half my face. Let's have a look, just do half your face. I don't know if that was really that helpful. Okay, so same thing, just so you can see what I'm doing here. All the lights changing because it's gonna rain. So I hope that's not gonna be too bad for you guys. You can still see everything. Everyone has like a makeup face. Whenever women, I think men might do it too when they put their makeup on and men wear makeup and that's okay but it's what I call a makeup face it's when you go and you sort of you go to do something you go I don't know why we do it it's like strike a pose there you go mm -mm -mm. can you see that I love these little I love I love I love this little concoction no this product, really do love it. So there you go, that's my everyday makeup with a little bit of perhaps every day, later on the day, perhaps going out for an early drink, but not full on going out for dinner. To be honest, as I said, all I would add to that is probably a bit more eyeliner um, and maybe a bit of lip liner, just to make my lips a little bit more defined. That's it, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching my beauty videos. Thank you for watching all of my videos. Um, don't forget if you've enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my other two platforms on social media. Uh, they're on Instagram and there's memore.tv and there's memore.tv health underscore wealth, which is health is wealth. It's everything to do with health and healthy living. Uh, all right, have a great day. Bye, bye, bye. cameraman be careful it's me clearly it's me